Missile fired on Friday by North Korea has sufficient range to reach the to reach the U.S. mainland. All right. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahweh Bahashim, Yahushai Bahashim Rekakwadash. Double honors unto our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, Shalawam Wakasayim Wabarakim. Peace, mercy, and blessings unto all of you, Sequani Wakim. To the Bayafsha, Dawa Dada, the House of David, to all called Bakarium, all Colorado's are, which means to the health, the hopeful elect, wherever they may be scattered throughout the world. The true name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, which means He exists to His to be. The true name of the Son is Yahweh Shai, which means He is the deliverer. Okay, and this is an article from Strange Sounds, you know, just a quick video. It says, <laughs> Hey. Yeah. This is okay. Go watch your TV. Excuse me. Missile fired on Friday by North Korea had sufficient range to reach the U.S. mainland. A missile fired Friday on North Korea had sufficient range to reach the United States mainland. You hear that? That is major. New is Carlo Yam La, Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai. And of course, I got this scripture. This is 2nd Edges 16 and 13. For strong is his right hand that bended the bow. The bow is dealing with, you know, the bow and arrows. All right. Now, the arrows is, is, is talking about nuclear missiles, man. Okay. says, now uh, when you look up the definition of arrow, a missile shot from a bow and usually having a slender shaft, a pointed head and feathers at the butt. So when you talk about missiles, man, okay, the modern day bow and arrow is these missiles that's going to be shot from these uh, bows. And you just Google ICBM, it says latest North Korea long range Mitchell have potential to reach the U.S. mainland, Japan says, right? Which, that's an omen. Okay? That is an omen. That's exactly what that is. You look at an image of an ICBM. Right? There you go. It's the modern day arrows, man. That missile being launched from a silo. Right? And then the heads is what contains the uh, nuclear warheads. Okay, so yeah, man, you know, this is going down. It's second edge 16 and 13. For strong is his right hand that bended the bow. Okay, dealing with Yahweh by Shemel Shai, you know, playing on the minds of these different kings, rulers, leaders, presidents, okay, to amp up their military might okay and, and to and to put the financial into the military okay this is Proverbs 21 and 1 the king's heart is in the hand of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai as the rivers of water he turned it whithersoever he will and that's an easy thing for Yahweh by Shemuel Shai all right just like the Lord allows to pass over the uh you know part of the, the, the sea for us to pass through man it's not for y'all by Shemmy Shai to control the minds <clears throat> of these modern day world leaders like Kim Jong un, Xi Jinping, Vladimir Putin, okay, uh, Benjamin Netanyahu, okay, so forth and so on. These modern day nobles, you know, presidents, rulers, Yahweh by Shemmy El Shai is controlling their, their minds. The top military generals, Yahweh by Shemmy El Shai is controlling them, okay. For strong is his right hand that bent at the bow. His arrows that he shooted are sharp. Okay, look up the definition of sharp. It says, having a cutting edge, acute, active, shrewd. All right, bitter. All right, literally cutting. And that's what's gonna happen, man. And when they launch, they're gonna cut all right, and into the atmosphere until they launched over here, and then when they fall, okay, 
when they when they fall upon the land it's going to create a destroying wind it's going to be a very bitter destruction man it's going to be very acute it's going to be very severe okay it says and they shall not miss right they're not going to miss okay because yeah you might say well don't the u.s have missile defense systems those shit they, they're not going to work okay they shall not miss when they begin to be shot into the ends of the road. So let that should let you know it's obviously it's not a modern day bore and arrow. Um, excuse me, it's not an ancient world bore and arrow like what you would see a native. Okay. It's not this type of bore and arrow. Right? You can't shoot a bore and arrow like that from North Korea to the US. You can't shoot a bore and arrow like that from um, Russia to the U.S. You can't shoot a bore and arrow like that from China to the U.S. Or Iran to the U.S. Okay, or Europe to the U.S., etc. Okay, but the modern day bore and arrows is dealing with the missiles. All right? Dealing with the missiles, the nuclear missiles, man. Everything is going nuclear right now. Okay, so that's the word of the day. Second Andrew 16 13. For strong is his right hand that bended the bow. His arrows that he shooted are sharp, and they shall not miss when they begin to be shot into the ends of the world. You can launch an intercontinental ballistic missile, though. Okay, back in the article. The projectile in the class of intercontinental ballistic missiles reached an altitude of 6,000 kilometers. 3,730 miles, covering in a range of 1,000 kilometers, 622 miles on the lofty trajectory. Hiro, so Hiro Kazu Matsuno, the chief cabinet secretary, had earlier said, a crisis meeting has been held at the apex submarine in Bangkok after North Korea's latest long-range missile test sparked fears of hostility. Okay. It landed about 200 kilometers, 124 miles west of Oshima, Oshima Island in the northern prefecture of Aikido. <laughs> okay, so yeah, man, these, these, you know, these nations, man, you know, one day they're going to push that button. Jihad by Shin is going to allow them to push it to fall right on the mainland. Okay, it's going to create a destroying wind and just destroy everything. <clears throat> Exactly like the scriptures tell you. Okay. Which is going to lead to the destruction of Babylon the Great. Which you which, which people know as America. Which America means bitter. This is the book of Joel chapter 21. Blow ye the trumpet in Zion. And sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Right. So we're blowing the trumpet. Which we're reading these holy scriptures. Prophecies. You know knowledge. Which I'm understanding. Giving you the breakdowns. In season. Out of season weekly videos, live shows on highways and hedges. But we're talking to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, okay? But we're also prophesying unto the Gentiles too, the heathen nations, right? Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble, right? If people truly knew what was coming, there wouldn't be no fucking Christmas spirit. There wouldn't be no Thanksgiving spirit, no New Year's, no Valentine's Day, all right? There wouldn't be... They wouldn't be acting how they're acting. For the day of Yahweh Hashem Yahshua had come, for it is nigh at hand, a day of gloominess and of darkness, a day of clouds and of thick darkness. Okay? And as the morning spread upon the mountains, you gotta imagine, you know, when the nukes go off, you know, it's gonna create darkness, man, because the reaction from that, you know, for one, the fire is gonna act as a cleansing agent. But also the reaction from that is going to block out the constellations. Also, when Yahweh sends Yahweh Shai and Michael the Archangel back, you know, Mike, or Yahweh Shai with Michael the Archangel, the chariots are also going to block out the constellation. The chariots are also described as clouds. Okay? A great people and a strong. There had not been ever the like, neither shall there be any more after that, even to the years of gener many generations. That's dealing with the nukes that they have created. A fire devoured before them, right when they hit, fire devours. 
behind them a flame burning, right? See that? Behind them a flame burning, because that flame is what's used to launch the missile over here, right? And the land is as the garden of Eden before them. Before they hit, this place is like unto a paradise. Perverse paradise, but nevertheless, a paradise, man. Right? And behind them, a desolate wilderness. But after it, it's going to look like a desert. Okay? Yeah, and nothing sh shall escape of them. The appearance of them is as the appearance of horses. You know, these things, they look intimidating. Okay? You know... You gotta, you know, this ain't no light thing. You know, if you live on a base around nukes, you know, press that button, that's war. Civilization destroyed. Thousands, millions of people gone. Okay, the horse represents power. That's a very powerful weapon. The appearance of them is as the appearance of horses, and as horsemen, so shall they run. Like the noise of chariots on the top of mountains, shall they leap. Like the noise of a flame of fire that devoured the stubble as a strong people say in battle array before their face the people shall be much pain right when the people you know when 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 people get that alert you know when people look up and they, and they, they see those fucking nukes oh uh, man that's going to be the worst feeling in the world okay all faces shall gather blackness people are going to be frozen in fear there's not going to be anywhere to run to and the only way to get delivered from this coming destruction is by the nukes. Um, excuse me. It's by the chariots of Yahweh by Shem El Shaddai. The only way to get delivered from the coming nuclear destruction is by the chariots of Yahweh by Shem El Shaddai. That's what Revelation 11 is talking about. Okay. This is Revelation chapter 11 and verse 12. And they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, come up here. That's what, you know, that's what Yahweh, Yahweh Shai is going to say to the elect as the missiles are falling. Right? And they had sent it up into a cloud and their enemies beheld them. And our enemies, which are all the heathen nations and two thirds, they're going to see the elect getting taken out of here while the missiles are getting ready to fall. Right? Verse 13. In the same hour, there was a great earthquake and what's going to call this great what's going to cause this great earthquake nukes dropping over different parts of the world it's going to create a chain of reactions man sinkholes volcano eruptions tsunamis hurricanes tornadoes you name it islands getting moved out of their places new islands forming right and in the earthquake was slain of men seven thousand okay now seven is the number for completion which means if you are not taken up on a chariot who, whoever is left is going to die and the remnant were frightened and gave glory to Yahweh El Shai the power of heaven is going to be so f even the elect are going to be afraid like in Joel it told you their faces gathered blackness it says the remnant were frightened even though the remnant represents the elected that got delivered, even they were scared, you know. The second war was passed, and behold, the third war coming quickly. And this is World War Three, okay. And this is World War Three talk right here. So that should show you right there that we're not in a time of peace, right? This is Joel two, verse seven. They shall run like mighty men. They shall claim. They shall climb the wall like men of war. They shall march everyone in his own way. They shall not break their ranks, right? These these missiles, you know, when they get shot, the spirit of Yahweh by Shem El Shai is going to be on them. <laughs> Most is going to use his angels to make sure they get over here, man. Neither shall they thrust one another. They're not going to bump into one another. They're not going to be any duds, okay? They shall walk everyone in his own path. And when they fall upon the sword, they shall not be wounded. When they fall, when they come over here, the missile defense system of the horror won't be able to stop them. They shall run to and fro in the city. They shall climb up the wall. They shall climb up the houses. They shall enter in, in, at the windows like a thief. OK, 
Okay, that's dealing with how the destruction is going to eat away at the foundations. The earth shall quake before them. It's going to be a great earthquake. The sun and the moon shall be dark, and the stars shall withdraw their shining. And Yahweh Shem El Shai shall utter his voice before his army, for his camp is very great. For he is strong to execute his word. For the day of Yahweh Shem El Shai is great and very terrible. And who can abide it? And that's why the elect are going to be, the remnant are going to be afraid, man. Right? Even the remnant were going to be afraid. And the Lord's going to turn this place worse than what he did in Sodom and Gomorrah. So Isaiah 13 and 19. And Babylon, the glory of the Cal. The glory of the kingdoms, the beauty of the Chaldees' excellency, shall be as when Yahweh by Shem Yoshai overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. Okay? It's going out that fashion. Right? But instead of fire and brimstone, it's going to be nuclear missiles. It shall never be inhabited, neither shall it be dwelt in from generation to generation, neither shall the Arabian pinch tent there, neither shall the shepherd make their fold there, but the wild beasts of the desert shall lie there, and their houses shall be full of doleful creatures, and the owls shall dwell there, and the satyrs shall dance there, and the wild beasts of the island shall cry in their desolate houses, and dragons in their pleasant palaces. And her time is near to come, and her days shall not be prolonged. Okay, so with that, I just want to do a, you know, a quick lesson, you know. This shows you the signs of the times that we're living in. This is definitely an omen. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakakodash. Double honors unto our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to the elect.